Yes, hi there. This is Michael. I am the founder, owner, and the materials writer for the seven step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. And these comments are for Dina. And my goodness, you have written, you made a lot of comments over uh, at my uh, website. So let's take a look at what you've said and then see if I can give you some ideas to get you going in the right direction. So you said, I would really appreciate if you could teach me how I could actually pass the exam with a score of 84 minimum. I'm a former nurse who graduated from a foreign nursing school in Baku, Azerbaijan. I've been living in the U.S. since 1998. I'm currently about to graduate from a pre-med program in Moorhead, Minnesota. I've earned all A's in all my English college courses. I recently had my nursing diploma evaluated and I was allowed to take the uh, RN exam to practice nursing in the United States. Unfortunately, I have to prove that I speak English and I have to get a minimum of 84 in the TOEFL IBT exam. You got good writing skills, I'll tell you right now. So then you say, so my question is, how in the world... Uh, I could possibly pass the exam when the examination room does not fit for such event. I took the TOEFL twice and both times failed by just a couple of points. The atmosphere during the exam is absolutely unacceptable. I never had to experience such unpleasant moments during my school experience in my local college. Both times I had to pay a $170 registration fee. I think I deserve to have at least a semi-pleasant and quiet atmosphere which is suitable for any exam. Not once have I had an exam in my college where students were talking loudly to the professors or just simply talking out loud which was causing a huge disturbance and discomfort to others. I simply do not understand if TOEFL was set up in a way to fail people purposely or just nobody really cares how many people's lives are being left behind the doors. Uh, it is understandable that money for the exam is taken immediately when one signs up for the exam, but where is the proper suitable exam atmosphere? Dear Michael, I understand that fixing the problem is not in your power. I'm not asking you to do it either. I'm just at a crisis right now. I'm not sure if it is ever going to be possible to pass at the Prometric Exam Center. I'm not alone, just as many of my friends are struggling with the same problem sincerely Dina Wow so um, sounds like you've had some bad test taking experiences uh, I should tell you that I did have one of my students who took the TOEFL four times and the fourth time she requested uh, at the Prometric Exam Center to be put in a room alone with the door closed and even on that exam, she still did not pass the speaking. She got 24. However, she protested. Uh, actually, didn't protest, but she had her exam rescored, the speaking section. And on the rescoring, she actually did pass. So I am aware that there are some distractions uh, in the TOEFL testing center. Uh, I think right after you finish the exam, it is possible to complain. You can complain to ETS and tell them what happened and they'll probably give you a chance to retest again but obviously who wants to go through another five hours of grueling examinations? Not me. How about you? Probably not, right? So what do you do? I mean, you can't control what's going to happen at the testing center. Let's be honest, right? Sometimes there's talking there's even talking uh, during the speaking part of the test because other people are also recording their responses to the speaking tasks just like you are. Now you have on headphones, right? Now, something that you might want to think about is have you considered using earplugs? You know, putting, putting things in your ears that will block out some of the noise, it might help you concentrate better, you know, during the reading uh, section of the test. Obviously, you can't do that during the listening. And even during the other parts of the test where there's listening involved, but at least 
during the reading session, you could put your headphones or your, your uh, earplugs inside your ears to block out the sound. That's a possibility. Now, another suggestion, something that I was just thinking about as, as, as you were talking to me in your, your comments, you can't control everything that happens at the testing center, but you can control your English proficiency, at least how well you speak, how well you write, how well you can listen and read academic English, right? So the only other thing you can do is, is when you're practicing, let's say you're doing some writing tasks or some speaking tasks, you might want to practice those speaking tasks with a radio going, with distractions in the background. And, and what you're trying to do is you're trying to simulate the test conditions. You're telling me that the test conditions are noisy and distracting, right? So then the only thing you can do is, is when you're practicing and studying TOEFL online at home, you know, you can create noise by turning on the radio, something along those lines, or turn on the, the uh, TV or something, and then practice either reading or practice writing or practice speaking during those conditions. Uh, I think that you can pass. I mean, passing for you is getting over 84, am I right? You didn't say anything about any re requirements of certain sections, I'm assuming. You probably want to get uh, 26 points on the speaking. You probably want to get 24 points or higher on the writing. And then you have maybe the other two sections, which maybe the requirement is not quite as much. And I'm telling you, it's tough. So the, you know, obviously I cannot fix your power and you acknowledge that I cannot, I cannot fix your problem, right? You actually acknowledge that in the comments that you made. So, uh, you know, you just have to prepare and hold your head up. Remember that you can do this with practice. You can definitely improve your TOEFL score. Something that you might want to think about is uh, if you join my service, and you begin practicing my, my TOEFL independent and integrated speaking and writing tasks, I'm telling you, my integrated speaking and in integrated writing tasks in many cases are even more difficult than the TOEFL. And if you can do well on mine, you, you will find the TOEFL actually very easy. But anyway, I'm very sorry for your situation and for your bad experiences with the TOEFL at the test taking center. And hopefully... Uh, the next time you, you take the test, it will be a much better experience for you because you'll pass the next time you take it, right? you got to believe it. Believe that you can do it. So you won't have to be battling with this TOEFL the rest of your life. Think about this, Dina. You want to pass the TOEFL and go on with bigger and better things like being a nurse. And remember that being a nurse, uh, that's great pay. It's a good job. It's one of the top 10 jobs here in the United States. You know it and I know it. You just need to pass a TOEFL test and then move on with your life. Okay? Anyway, thank you very much for making your comment over at my website. And uh, all the best to your high scoring TOEFL success. And I sincerely hope the next time you take the TOEFL will be your last. And I, hope, uh, I really believe that you can pass this test.